All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video. Now today, I want to go ahead and say this video is more like a mid review, like a midway review, because I did my first impressions video. Um, you go check that out if you want to see what I was like when I first started, like really playing the game about 20 hours in. I'm about a good maybe 50, 60 hours in. I don't even know actually. I haven't even checked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like that that much hours in and i'm nowhere near to finishing the game it looks like like depending on i guess the stars now maybe maybe the stars isn't really dependent on story progress that's something you have to kind of get the game to kind of see what i'm talking about but today i'm here to talk about is this game worth your money all right so in this day and age honestly like 60 dollars for a game is very expensive even some of the next gen games are like 70 dollars, and that's very expensive so we want to kind of like choose and research what games we basically want to get is going to be worth our time now, i'm here to tell you honestly from my honest opinion i i have been a like i have been a critic of pokemon for a little while i made a video talking about shin megami tensei 5 and how great that game was compared to how the diamond and pearl remakes were very lackluster so i'm not really a pokemon fanboy but at the same time i do love the series i've been playing it for years and i'm gonna go ahead and cut straight to the chase because i don't want to you know kind of talk around it too much but i absolutely think this game is worth 60 dollars look i absolutely think this game is definitely worth 60 dollars um I'm, I'm thinking it's worth any dlc they want to bring um because i'm gonna be honest with you a big big part of me i'm a big fan of like legendary pokemon i have not run into any legendary pokemon but the way that the atmosphere feels it feels like the alpha pokemon aren't really legendary but my goal to like catch all these alpha pokemon because like they they provide like a good challenge like a good challenge barrier if you want to do that i felt like they really thought about okay people saying this game is too easy why this game is easy honestly you can just grind up and just you know get really stronger and stuff but in my opinion it's like the alpha pokemon provide a pretty good challenge you know i've, I've been trying to capture like alpha and Frenape and Emplorion and torterra i've been trying to catch them for a while and I've been really, really unsuccessful. I have to go in there with a different strat. But honestly, that can be kind of challenging. And it's something that you don't have to do. You have these giant Pokemon gods walking around. But in reality, you really don't have to do them if you don't want to do them. Now, one thing I've, I will say is that this game brings so many possibilities. I'm really sad because this game seems like a spinoff. It seems like something that I hopefully they'll continue to do this, but it seems like they'll probably go back to like the mainline games. And I'm gonna be sad if they don't continue this format. I'm gonna legitimately be sad. I think this is the future of Pokemon games. Uh, I don't really want to go back to honestly. I don't even know if I want to go back to gym leaders. I was gym leaders was kind of like a, uh, you know, I would always want a strong person to fight. But having alpha Pokemon, it seems better than gym leaders. Because for one, you can capture giant Pokemon, which is really cool. For two, it's like they provide enough challenge where they can wipe your whole team if you're not careful. And a lot of gym trainers, gym Pokemon leaders, or whatever, they have like one Pokemon. I have like four Pokemon, and then you can just easily just wipe them away. Because Pokemon aren't strong. You know, you can use just simple strategy to get rid of them. So I don't even care if they, like that comes back. But... I gotta say, man, the possibilities of this game or this franchise line could be incredible. Yes, it would mean we wouldn't really get a lot of, like, newer next-gen Pokemon. Like, we wouldn't get another gen, which they probably end up coming with another gen after this Pokemon. Because this, this one's going to be very successful, so I don't think they're going to be done with it. But I don't know if I can stomach another regular Pokemon game as far as, like, the way they've been digressing. This is a big step in the right direction. I think... The possibility of the other spinoff game, the other sequels to this game could be incredible. Now, I don't know all my gens perfectly or whatever, but I'm going to just talk about certain events. There was one game, I believe it was X and Y, where they talked about like the how the Mega Evolutions got started and how they, the, basically the world was split into two different dimensions. That could be interesting to go back and see. That would be a, a cool event, like seeing those two Pokemon, like seeing the Pokemon battle it out, and you know, you'll be able to see like everything that happened back then it was foretold in x and y but that's crazy because you know even though this game does not have mega evolutions which i'm i'm okay with to be honest with you i'm okay um you know they gave me a couple of new features and stuff like the strong and the agile strikes and stuff it provides a little bit more strategy into the gameplay it'd be interesting because that could be a technique that could be a thing for x and y or you know going back into like the story of x and y and whether the cannon fired or didn't fire that would be interesting to go back in and like kind of really 
you know, experience mega evolutions from the beginning, like something that's new and brand new. And at first I kind of like didn't care too much about like Pokemon redesigns, but um, after seeing some of the starters redesigns, I really, I really thought it was cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really enjoy those because generally redesigned Pokemon seem a little bit lazy, but they don't do it to a lot of different Pokemon. So I guess it's like it evens out. You know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of reskin Pokemon. I mean, it kind of is. But this game is just basically based on the the story of Sinnoh, which is, this is what, he sweet. I, I don't know how to actually pronounce the actual region name. But I've been having a lot of fun with that to go back on this topic. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, a lot of it has been exploring. Uh, I've been doing a lot of exploring, and I, didn't, I hadn't, honestly haven't even been doing much like grinding and battling this stuff. I might catch new Pokemon and kind of explore and see what their moves look, look like in this open environment. I mentioned in the first impressions video, I love that you can actually move around in the Pokemon battles now. It doesn't feel as stiff. It just really doesn't feel as stiff. Um, I was recording the game a lot, so I never got to actually play it on handheld until like last night when I was doing like some survey grinding. I didn't need to record. So I actually love this game in handheld mode. I think it's I think it looks great. The game in, in actual TV mode looks okay. Um, I mean, it looks basically what you would expect a Switch game to look like. You know, um, a lot of people compare this to Breath of the Wild, and I can see why because Breath of the Wild had like a really kind of open atmosphere type area. This, in a sense, is not like Breath of the Wild because there is zones, like there is zones you go into, but it is a pretty good sizable areas. Like I was surprised how big these areas actually are. Um, I don't know if that's like a, like game magic or whatever where they make it seem bigger than it really is, but these these actual maps look really really big. I just unlocked the um, the fish Pokemon so I can like swim and and that unlocked a lot of new areas for the into the game for me. This and it, it's really gated behind progression, but you wouldn't really know because obviously this is like the the day one patch type stuff. So there are ways to like cheese into areas that you didn't necessarily need to be at in the time. Like, when I found the Emplorion, I was using the uh, deer Pokemon to just kind of jump. And he just jumped into, like, the... He, he jumped on the rocks in a certain way, and it made it better. Because that's the crazy thing about Because, actually, as I was recording this video, I had to stop. Because I was actually getting attacked by a random Pokemon. That's just kind of the feel that you get from this game. You have to be always aware. Um, you're not falling asleep trying to do battles because you just one shot and everything. You actually have to be awake. You have to be alert. And, you know, I think this could be a fun game for all time. You know, like, I think this is probably, I'm not going to say my best Pokemon game because I feel like maybe um, I might be a little bit recency biased just because I've been playing it so much. And I don't want to say it's the best game ever, but it's definitely in my top three for sure. That's that's no no hands down. It's in my top three. I'm continuously surprised. Honestly, I've seen Pokemon, like, through years, through generations, and like, I still love when certain Pokemon pop up, or I've started find an area where certain Pokemon exist. You know, some of my favorite Pokemon. I'm currently trying to find a Lucario. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure maybe in, like, the next area or the area after that, I'll find a Lucario. But I'm trying to find one. I feel like he might be a little bit of a rare area. I want to just find a Lucario and just train him up and stuff and just make him close combat everything I see. So, with that being said, guys, is Pokemon Legends Arceus, is that worth your $60? I honestly think it is. I think you should have a pre-order right now. I'm not really a big fan of pre-order. I don't like pre-ordering games because it sends a bad message. It sends a message that it don't matter how bad your game is, we'll play it. But I don't know who was behind this development of Pokemon Legends Arceus, but they did a really good job. They changed the format. They gave us everything we wanted. Please, please, if you do go back to the mainline games, you have to take some elements from this. This game is what the wild area should have been. Like, if, if this... If this had like some of the zones like the wild area had some of the zones this was and the wild area was like a beta test for i guess something like this or whatever they were already in development with this game but you know it was something like to to try it out i honestly don't mind gym leaders i don't mind the, going into the cities and stuff but it should always at least if you're doing in-game content it don't even matter give us some in-game content when we have a game like this and maybe that's asking too much because this is a full-fledged game and doing that would be tacking on another game but I mean, hey, Soul Silver did. They gave us a whole, you know, a whole end game that was really a new game. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be dropping more Pokemon videos. Um <laughs>